नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल द क्वेश्चन दैट आई इंटेंड टू आस्क टू नाइट इज आर वी अ मेच्योर्ड डेमोक्रेसी इज द गवर्नमेंट वर्किंग फॉर एस लाइक द वे अ गवर्नमेंट शुड बी वर्किंग इन अ डेमोक्रेसी आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट अ गवर्नमेंट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट गवर्नमेंट स्टार्टिंग नाइनटीन फिफ्टी टिल डेट has our government worked for us now that's the question i want to ask tonight let's get right into the show and discuss it in detail for starters let me say that each and every government that has come into this country that was that was that was made in this country has tried to do a lot of good for the country so a with this program i am not disrespecting any government be it pandit jawaharlal nehru be it indira gandhi be it lal bahadur shastri be it every government atal bihari vajpayee narendra modi every government has done or is trying to do something good for the country let's be very clear about that but the point is is this good enough the point is how do we make this better how do we make our governments work for us more efficiently that's the question i wanted to discuss tonight now in management in management they say with authority comes responsibility so you are giving authority to a particular individual a particular group a particular political party a particular government then with that authority you should also give them responsibility responsibility means accountability you get authority in this country in a republic because the people elect you the people elect you not because your father was or it should not be in fact not because nahi it should not be because your father was a prime minister or your grandfather was a prime minister your great grandfather was a prime minister so you are also going to be a prime minister the country should not one should not be elected because of that particular reason you should be elected because you can serve the people better that is democracy that is republic now if you are supposed to serve the people then when you get the authority when you get all your central agencies and all agencies that in your command it should be used to serve the people better now how do you ensure that it is used to serve the people better it is we ensure it by asking for accountability we ensure it when we call for accountability from people who are in power from people who are in authority from people who occupy constitutional position for instance when you are in working for corporates when you are working for a private company in fact when you are working even for government companies there is something called a target that you have you work on a target there is an x amount of sales that you have to achieve there is x amount of revenue that you have to achieve there is x amount of infrastructure that you have to build there is a y amount of tax that you have to collect so people work on target and if you don't get that target it shows in your evaluation and when it shows in your evaluation your next year's promotion your next year's increment they are affected so an authorized person is also accountable and that accountability decides his future for him so you deliver you are rewarded if you don't deliver you are not rewarded very clear fair enough this particular method builds successful corporations successful companies now the question is we do that with our companies we do that with our corporation but do we do that with our country and that is my topic for tonight does the government has accountability now i will refer to immediate examples then we will go slightly backwards monday the supreme court said that demonetization was correct the supreme court said listen you know what the government had spoken to rbi they were in touch with rbi for 6 months so you know yeah i mean they followed all the procedures they ticked all the boxes so they were right but did the court or did the country ask the government what about the people who who died the court said they are martyrs because for any good thing you know you have to have few martyrs is that so 
ask that family member who lost somebody important to them in their family ask them whether they would they are they martyrs martyrs for demonetization the court pondered about the procedure whereas which is fine which is what the petition was so i agree but the point is who is going to ask the government about their responsibility about what happened with demonetization how did it help the country who is going to ask the government yesterday yesterday tuesday there was another verdict in the court the supreme court where the supreme court said that you know the petition was that azam khan of samajwadi party he went out and said that you know there was a rape in bulandshahar and you know that rape was because of some political conspiracy okay the point is what he was trying to do is save his government he was trying to say that it is not my mistake it's a political conspiracy now political conspiracy now who is responsible for that statement the government is not responsible for the statement the, the court said it is an individual statement the government is not responsible a minister a public functionary they are not responsible for the statements that they make some other mp in madhya pradesh said that you know every hindu should keep weapons in his or her house who is responsible for these statements the political party says the court says no political party is not responsible the court says that the government is not responsible finally if something good happens then it is the government's picture all over the state all over the country but something bad happens no it's not government's responsibility forget the court let's let's keep the court aside for a minute even we people of this country we the people of this country have never held our government responsible 1975 indira gandhi announced emergency 1977 she was back in power that was how the country reacted to emergency which was of course bad for this country so many examples 1990 to 2005 lalu prasad yadav created bihar into a jungle raj it is true it is evident 2022 his son is back in the government bihar forgot about it india forgot about it 2008 i know in my city mumbai 2611 badly managed not just by the state in fact more than the state the center had badly managed it because nsg came here 24 hours as after the terrorist landed terrorist from pakistan possibly came here faster than the nsg came from delhi because possibly they didn't have flights they didn't have aircraft i don't know what what was more important than hundreds of life that were lost in mumbai nsg came the next day definitely gov governmental error 2009 the same government upa was brought back to power nobody questioned them both in center and in state state also congress ncp came back to power the same political party that was handled that was handling 2008 my question is that we have stopped questioning our government we have stopped believing that the government is there to serve us like vinod dua ji used to constantly say that they are a public servant they are service providers we are the clients we we are supposed to get service from them but somewhere down the line the mentality that we have as a society and i am not going to blame just supreme court or as a society the mentality that we have is we are subservient and that comes very naturally to us resilience comes very naturally to us deluge in the state water getting flooded because of uh, because of unkept uh, pipelines unkept drainages people lose their life that same government comes back in that particular municipality so many examples so many examples that one can give the point that i want to make through this editorial is that do not expect good governance do not expect fair governance do not expect efficient governance till such time that you learn to get service out of your government a bad manager will have a bad team and that bad team will be an inefficient team you are the manager of your country you appoint your team by giving your votes you appoint your team by asking questions you appoint your team by a understanding what your team is doing what your team is delivering whether your team is delivering or not delivering you need to understand that if you sleep in the office 
and you let your team deliver what they want and do what they want finally what will go what is going to happen is you are going to get an inefficient team that will take you for granted and that's exactly what has happened with indian politics with indian political administration that's exactly what has happened they take you for granted they take you for granted because you don't question them you don't penalize them so big deal i do whatever wrong next time i'm i'm bound to come back and and make my government till such time that we don't change our country will not change till such time that our country will not change our administration our political everything will remain the same so you know constantly we can come and blame the government and say the government and the government is not doing that the government is not doing the other things all this we will do it for the next 100 years i will get my viewership thus i will get my uh, whatever little money that uh, i get from social media you will come and you will also see and say yeah correct i are what is saying is that government and not done this government and not done that but none of this is going to change be rest assured on that and that's the point i am trying to make it will has to change we have to change and only if we change will the government change will the administration change will the governance change not the government change but the governance changes so that's the point i wanted to make today um, like i always say please pick up a package if you can it will help us please uh, contribute to uh, running this show for us please contribute for us to run the show for you and uh, also please share this content share our content subscribe to our content and uh, comment on our content so that more and more people can see us till i see you next time Namaskar. To know about the latest updates on our new news app, go on your Android or iOS, search for HW News Network. Download our app, choose the language you prefer to get updates in, and be up to date with the latest news.